Today we're taking a look at the HD Home Run Extended. Now this is a um, DVR for your home, go to your peers, Blu-ray players, tablets, game consoles, and um, smart TVs. Um, designed to connect many different ways to kind of give you a whole home DVR option one. Now this is the extended edition, um, which the difference here is it's got HD as opposed to um, SD on the connected version, and it has two tuners. There is a prime edition there at the bottom that has um, three tuners built in, and it allows you to receive digital cable subscriptions, but it's only in um, SD. At least according to the box, this is SD right here under Prime. Um, so the extended is probably what most cord cutters want, HD, two tuner support, and so on. Uh, so let's open this up. I'm gonna, in this same video, I'm gonna start off here with a quick unboxing, show you everything that comes with it. Then at the end of the video, we'll actually have it all hooked up, test it out, and show you what we think of it. So let's uh, pop this open here real quick. Here is the actual device, HD Home Run. Pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, no USB ports, no nothing. You just plug Ethernet in here, power, and a um, antenna right here. So pretty straightforward of what it is, what it does. Uh, let's make sure I don't miss anything. Here's a quick starting guide. Yeah, um, connect antenna, network router, um, and then, yeah, so that's pretty straightforward. It does come with a, um, I don't know, 1.8 meter uh, ethernet cable. And this is probably the plug. Yep, so right here is the plug. Pretty straightforward. That, I do believe, yes it is, that is it. That's everything that comes with it. So, not a whole lot here on the hardware side. Um, you got your device, it is what it is, just shove that in the corner, it doesn't need to be really visible. You got your power plug, ethernet cable, and a little one page quick start guide that basically says go to their website and follow the instructions on the website. So, yeah, pretty straightforward, simple, uh, not a lot to a device. Well, hang on, I'm gonna go set this up, test it out for some time, and then I'll come right back and give you a full review. So I've been playing around with a HD Home Run now for a little while, a couple weeks actually. I test this longer than I test most devices because I wanted to see if I could find a way to like this device. I cannot. Few issues right off the bat. Number one, even though it says H or Wi-Fi on the box and on the website, Caveat here, you can connect other devices to watch the content through Wi-Fi, but the physical DVR needs to be hardwired into your modem. Uh, no Wi-Fi in the device to connect to a modem, router, so forth. Problem with that being in my house is the modem and Wi-Fi are in the basement um, where I keep the um, Tableau DVR upstairs. It connects to Wi-Fi in a bedroom the Tableau gets 30 stations in an upstairs bedroom. This one gets two. Adding insult to injury, it wrongly identifies where I am in the country and the, the channel thing by default, where my Tableau, you know, run through the simple setup, quickly identified correctly where I was and got that. So I struggle with that. You know, being in the basement means my antenna is only in the basement because the antenna cord's not only so long. And now I only get two stations instead of 30 plus stations. Um, I will say it's nice to not have to leave the stream to see what's coming up. Fortunately, it's wrong here. Um, so that, you know, I'm sure I could find somewhere in the settings to fix that, but that wasn't clearly visibly um, right there. Um, adding even more insult to injury, uh, I'm watching this on an NVIDIA Shield. Uh, there's no Roku, no Fire TV. You wanna watch your content for the device you paid for. Your DVR was not exactly cheap. Guess what, you gotta pay 99 cents for the Android app. That seems kind of excessively um, unnecessary. <laughs> it seems like we'll just add a little extra dollar to the price without telling you, uh, but if you wanna watch the content, you gotta do that. So not impressed with this, just can't recommend it. Um, have seen a little bit of stuttering while watching this. I've watched the content for a while and there does seem to be times where they're stuttering. Not sure if that's because I'm in the basement or the device. I read reviews on the Android app 
that a lot of other people are saying they are seeing stuttering also. So I think it may be something about the app itself running on Nexus and Androids and so forth. But you you know you want a uh, DVR like this to be on your big screen TV. So of course you want to connect a Nexus or an Android. It's listed as a supported device in the um, you know in the list. Android TV is a supported way to use this application. So cannot recommend this. Um, no Wi-Fi from the device to your modem. You can connect other devices after you plug your um, your box into your modem. You can use Wi-Fi on your router, or excuse me, on your Android TV, on your phone, and so forth to connect to it. But that's not what I wanted, and that's not what you expect if you just do a cursory read through of their ad or look at the box itself. So that that's a big downside there. Ninety nine cents for the actual device and inaccurate um, channel menu without a very clear way to fix that during setup um, are all things I have to say I just can't recommend this for. So questions, comments, leave me um, them on YouTube or please subscribe. You know, if you like this review, give us a thumbs up. Even if you don't like the device, I hope you would give us a thumbs up on the review um, and subscribe to our channel. We do our best to help you get the most record cutting experience to find the devices that will work best for you to find, um, how you can get the most from your cord cutting experience. We give news tips and reviews all about cord cutting. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, just search for cord cutters news and on our site at cordcuttersnews.com.